Lauren Yurkovich tells us more about these impact-based warnings. I'm Skywatch local forecaster Lauren Yurkovich in Lincoln, Illinois, reporting at the National Weather Service, where I spent the afternoon speaking with meteorologists who say they are planning to implement an impact-based warning system to start this tornado season. You always want to plan for severe weather before the, the day comes. Senior meteorologist Ed Shimon has been in the weather business for nearly 20 years and has worked for the National Weather Service in Lincoln, Illinois for eight. He says when it comes to warning the public of severe weather, it's time for a change. Chance of shower. We had some studies out of Joplin and other major impact tornadoes that people didn't take action right away because the warnings were, you know, in their eyes a little generic, not concise, just okay, another tornado warning, but it's happened before and nothing happened. So when we know it's a major event, we want to put it in there and let people know and, and you know, give it that extra uh, verbiage to allow them to take action. With many not taking warnings seriously, what will be different? The primary difference will be in the type of wording we use in our impact statements. In the past, we had more of the generic take cover, go to your basement, uh, stay away from windows. When we have significant tornadoes, this wording will be used to provide high impact wording like your house will be destroyed, whole uh, blocks could be removed, power outages could last for weeks, yeah. debris will block roads for you know days, stuff like that. Impact statements that say this is what's going to happen to you. A tornado observed is one of the main tags. If we have a, if we have a confirmation of a tornado on the ground, we'll put a, a tag that says tornado observed. And the next one will be three levels. Either no tag for tornado damage uh, category. It'll be nothing or they'll be uh, consider considerable or catastrophic. And that tag is, is basically used for the, the major events. It, it, most of the time it won't be there, but during the, the uh, ones where we know there's a significant amount of damage possible, we'll put on a, a considerable tornado damage uh, tag. And then if it's going to head to a major metropolitan area, we'll probably put on that catastrophic tag. Last year's tornado season was a quiet one in central Illinois, but Shimon says this year could be a bit more active. Uh, we're going to have a regular round of severe weather. We'll have warnings maybe a couple times a week to maybe once a week. Always look ahead, um, plan things out for severe weather pur purposes, because when a tornado is coming, uh, you, you don't want to have to think about what you, your reaction is. So where will you notice these impact statements? They'll be found on crawls at the bottom of your television screen and vocally during severe weather statements given during normal programming. More information on the new impact-based warnings can be found at crh.noaa.gov ilx.